Audrey's opening packages for the shot that we're gonna hang up on the walls. And we are matching with the car. Look at that. I'd say it's pretty dang close. Today we are gonna be stripping the interior on the Miata. Pretty much everything is going. Carpet, bye-bye. Door cards, bye-bye. All the back hatch stuff, bye-bye. Soft top, bye-bye. That's already gone. Center console, bye-bye. You might be asking yourself, why, why? And um, I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'm gonna wait until the video in which we put stuff back in. Holy shit, that's dope! <laughs> Whoever sent the S2000 is, woohoo! Oh, actually wait, it's right here. Keegan Spears, that's dope. We're also gonna be taking off the steering wheel because we're gonna be doing stuff with this. Like I said, all this carpet is going. It's already kind of far gone. Um, the seats are gonna come out. The seat belts are also gonna come out. But before we do any of that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and take a spare flywheel that I have for this car and go get it resurfaced at a local machine shop so we can uh, put it in when we get the clutch. So that's gonna be awesome. We keep all the spare parts up there in the shop, which it's a convenient place, but in order to get up there, you kind of have to climb, so. Focus ST muffler, bash bars for Molly, under tray, uh, transmission, flywheel. As you can see, it uh, it definitely needs some love here, but um, it, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's salvageable. To the machine shop we go. We also just found this little kitten outside. Look at. Hi, little guy. Aww. He was abandoned by his mom outside the shop, so we're gonna go get the flywheel resurfaced and then uh, get some food for this little guy because I'm sure he's hungry. I just dropped the flywheel off at the machine shop and I went to PetSmart to get some food for our kitty. We're thinking she's about four to eight weeks old. We don't know if she's a boy or a girl yet. I just said she, but we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. We also just took the little kitten to the vet, which he is a he. Audrey wants to name him Axel. Uh, I like the name, so let us know if you guys like that name. I think we are planning on keeping it because it's so adorable. But yeah, he is healthy. He just had a little tick on him. So it looks like we have a uh, shop pet. But I think it's time to finally actually work on what we we're supposed to do on this video. So let's start uh, stripping down the interior. Quite a bit heavier with the, oh my gosh. <gasps> Next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove both the seats. You know, that's a little gross, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shop vac and vac the shit out of it. Or should I say, suck the shit out of it. Give it a nice good suck, dude. Oh yeah. Next thing I wanna do is go ahead and remove this ugly ass carpet, ugly, moldy, and dirty carpet. In order to do that, we're gonna have to take the center console off, the side plastic off because it's tucked right here, uh, this side trim, this seal, uh, and then I think, looks like we have to take off the dead pedal and we'll probably have to cut it somewhere along there because I'm not taking off the, you know, fuck that. So I guess let's just kind of start stripping shit. The carpet is almost ready to come out as far as I know. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, dead pedal down there. And as you can see, it's not there because it's right here. There we are. Pretty much I'm gonna try to pulling it out of these like staple things. There we go. Looks like it's kind of like glued down almost. Well, that's pretty easy. Gonna have to kind of cut along there. You might be thinking this is disgusting, and you'd be totally right. 
Uh, it's quite muddy. It's pretty rusty, especially over there by the ECU, which, oh, that's a great sign. But it came out really easily. All you really have to do is cut along there, and uh, everything else will just pull out. Pretty much what we're gonna do now is get all the heat shielding resistant shit, sound deadening shit out of here, uh, clean everything up. We also have to take the door cards off, which we'll do. Let's kind of get to work on this shit. I know what you guys are thinking. It doesn't look very clean, and I would agree because there are so many like stains from old adhesives and different like sealants that were different colors and scratches. It just looks kind of shitty and dirty just because of all the random shit that's everywhere and whatnot. But let me tell you, this thing is freaking clean, dude. I mean, I would lick anywhere on the interior of this car. What I did is that I scraped off all the old sound editing and uh, flame retardant stuff, and then I hit it with some tar and grease remover, and then I just hit it with simple green layers after layers of simple green. And I kept doing that until I got this, which there's a little bit of dirt left, but this thing is pretty freaking clean. So this interior is also pretty freaking clean. For now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take off the door cards, and that's it. Now I will say that we are going to be reinstalling some form of door cards because although I do like the look of a stripped interior without a carpet, or at least I will, um, I don't like the look of a door card without anything, like a door without any door card. But for now, we are going to be removing them because you will see. But let's go ahead and remove the second one. And there we go, second door card off. And now comes the fun part of uh, test fitting that roll bar we got over there. We're gonna go ahead and test fit that in this car with the hard top on. Pretty much we're gonna plop it in, put the hard top on and see if it fits. Our neighbor Mike from uh, Red Mist Automotive, he makes Miata roll bars and he had this one laying around. Uh, he said it doesn't fit a Miata with a soft top, but it should fit a Miata with a hard top. Um, so if it does fit, then he's gonna give it to us. If it doesn't, then rip. If you guys need anything done to your car, hit up Mike from Red Mist Automotive. You can look them up. Just type in Red Mist Automotive. It's in Gilberts, Illinois. Huh. I'm guessing it's supposed to fit like this. I'm not exactly sure. That really just looks so much better. It actually looks decent without the top now, but um, all right, speaking of top, let's go ahead and test with that. Boys, I think we've got finger fitment. We've got credit card fitment on a roll bar. So yeah, guys, I think that is gonna be it for today. The interior is now stripped, cleaned. The, um, the roll bar is test fitted and it does fit. Next episode, what we're gonna be doing is doing the special thing to the interior, putting back some of the pieces, putting the seats back in, um, hopefully welding in the um, roll bar, and then put the hard top on, and then we're done. Sadly, I don't think the new door cards are gonna be here in time for the next episode, but um, that's okay. We just will wait to put those in until later day. What the fuck? That thing's disgusting. I want to take a very brief moment to talk about um, this video's uh, sponsor. Before you guys start complaining, it's not a watch. It's not anything weird. It is car related. In fact, it's actually uh, soap. Not soap for your car, but uh, soap for yourself. It is industrial hand soap. What is that? Axel is a door. Oh. <laughs> Axel, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. Axel's gonna be famous. He doesn't know it yet, but this little kitty, he's already famous, really. It is Emil brand soap. It's a really awesome industrial hand soap to help you get clean after doing manly work like uh, working on your car. The owner of this business is actually a 70 year old man who just recently immigrated um, into America, which is really cool. I'll have a link in the description so you guys can pick up some soap. I also have a discount code for 10% off in the description. I think it's 10% off. It's something like that. Now I know you guys really don't like watching sponsored clips, but uh, being 100% honest, I can't afford this lifestyle. I would not be able to afford all these cars without companies like these. So I'm really thankful when a company wants to sponsor a video. I promise I only ever talk about um, products that I actually do enjoy and I do personally use myself. So um, you know that I'm at least being genuine when I'm talking about, oh, oh boy, that's disgusting. When I'm talking about a um, 
products. But um, that's it. One more cool thing about the soap is that uh, the company might help us make some gingium brand soap, which I think would be pretty cool. Oh, and that actually really reminds me, I keep forgetting to talk about this, but I'm trying to make some gingium key tags and I want you guys, your guys' opinion. I'm debating between two things, making um, key tags per car, so making a Rally Miata key tag, a Mali key tag, and an RX-7 key tag, or I could just make one key tag just a gingium key tag. So let me know what you guys think. Would you rather have a key tag for each vehicle or just a gingium key tag? Let me know. The vet also said that he was around four weeks old, so he's super young, but um, he's doing really well. He's eating and everything, and he seems really healthy, so that's good. But yeah, guys, that is gonna be it for today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, give it a like. If you guys are new, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, bros, bros. I did it again, damn it.